Yes, guys. Yes, guys. Yes, guys. The predictions were true, and Nicolas Otamendi gets himself a team of the season card. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel and to our brand new FIFA 21 video. This is Leo here bringing you another special player review. And today, we're going to be looking at one of my favorite center backs from Argentina. And his name is Nicolas Otamendi. Yes, he can be dirty at times. Yes, he can be, you know, a little bit rough around the edges when it comes to defending. But I don't care. I like that physicality from my center backs. And Nicolas Otamendi has always brought that, whether it was to Benfica, whether it was Manchester City, and then Again, back to Benfica, Nicolás Otamendi has been one of my favorite center backs since uh, I started watching football. And honestly, uh, hopefully in the summer, he can lead Argentina's defense in the Copa America and Messi can finally win a trophy and we can all celebrate that. But we're here to talk about this team of the season, Nicolás Otamendi card. I know a lot of Benfica fans are happy, a lot of Argentinians as well. We finally get a center back from Argentina that gets an incredible team of the season card. I was bummed out that Sene did not get one for the team of the season community so this is a welcome sight for Argentinian fans he is six foot medium height right for the two star skill moves three star week for the divine for 43k which is a steal guys go pick up this card and I have applied a shadow chemistry style to put that pace up to 90 I am gonna get him on 10 cam I gotta switch the manager and probably get one more green Lincoln so he can have 90 acceleration and 90 sprint speed onto the passing of 80 74 vision 90 short passing 89 long passing good stuff there as long as he can get out of trouble we should be good to go onto the dribbling of 71 70 agility 70 balance is good enough for me I have been playing with prime bidage and I got uh, lead three this past uh, weekend league and honestly I don't see much of a difference between this and Bidditch I actually would pick up this card over Bidditch because of the higher pace and uh, Bidditch like I said has the same agility and balance well similar agility and balance so you should not feel clunky on the pitch 92 reactions 93 composure super clutch card and now on to the defending of 92 90 defensive awareness 93 standing tackle 92 interceptions Make this guy the Argentinian wall. And lastly, the physical of 89, 90 strength, 99 aggression. Like I said, this guy is a very aggressive player. So just go ahead and put a shadow chemistry style. I know the stamina is a little bit low at 75, but for a center back, he's not really running the entirety of the game. So I don't think that's a problem. 99 jumping, 94 heading accuracy as well. He's known for headers. And I forgot his stint at Valencia. He did score a game winner against Real Madrid, I believe. So we'll see if we can get a header goal with this Nicolás Otamendi card. And lastly, the player trade. Solid player. Dice into tackle. And power header. I'm so excited to try out. Nicolás Otamendi. Is he worth it? Is he not? And I'm definitely going to be trying Coates as well. And I definitely will let you know who the better center back option is in the later reviews for today so stay tuned subscribe and let's get on to the gameplay portion of the review all right Otamendi first section of the ball game oh my goodness this game this game's gonna be bad guys I can already tell let's see how he's on ball vamos Otamendi look at that the strength the strength to shield him oh no can we get an assist though no no way, can we get an assist? Yes, we can. Oh my goodness, we get an assist from the center back roll to Douglas Costa flashback. Go check out that review. OMG, guys. I know, no, 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 no. That's what I get for celebrating. Look at that acceleration. Look at the sprint speed. Good reactions right there. And we get the ball back, guys. So come out. Nicolás Otamendi, first five minutes of the ball game. Fantastic. Let's go. Good reactions right there. Look at the link. Taglafico Tamendi. My Argentinian dream is coming true. Gets himself an incredible lasso, an incredible assist. And that's how we kick off a review here at Foot Leo FC. Also Tamendi. Buena Tamendi. Defensive awareness. Vamos Tamendi. Let's go. Side to side movement. It does feel like Bidditch, guys. Side to side movement. Really good. That's good reactions right there. That's the second, like, fourth time, I think, in this review that he gets a leg in there. And Lefico, come on. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what he, I don't know what happened. There we go. Hierro and Otamendi closing out. I'm telling you, the game is weird right now. But great first half for Otamendi. I'm liking what I'm seeing.
You saw that guys, you saw that, that's why you put a shadow on them. He's top team of the season, Jamie Barty right there. Wow, that recovery speed, man. You can definitely tell that 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed combination. Beautiful, read that perfect. I'm liking it, man. He fits my playing style, like I said. Not a lot of people use Bidditch. Prime bid is to, uh, you know, play competitive FIFA. And by competitive FIFA, I mean Elite 3, Elite 2, maybe. And for me, he just works out in Otamendi. That's the case with Otamendi, guys. I don't really need 97 pace on defense. So my opponent rage quit in the 72nd minute, I believe. And Otamendi gets himself the highest rating from my defense. 7.9 rating, like I said, guys. He fits my playing style. He's Argentinian. I'm going to try to fit him in my squad somehow. Probably do Lev Jashin or something. And yeah, guys, he's an incredible center back, especially if you're a Benfica fan as well. 7.9 rating. Passes completed 6 out of 7. Dribbles completed 5 out of 5. And no tackles won, but he got a lot of interceptions in. He was... Definitely fell on the defensive end of the pitch, and that's why my opponent did not score as many goals. But anyways, let's go on to game number two and see if we can duplicate this performance. All right, come on, Otamendi, in the game number two. Just like that, one minute, and I, I don't know what's going on, guys, with my controller. I think it's broken, but one, one minute, one highlight for Otamendi. There we go. On team of the season, Sancho. Vamos. Look at that gorgeous long passing from Otamendi. Vamos. Otavio tiene la pelota. What is the Brazilian going to do? He's already scored a golazo. Can he make it a second? Skip. Nice. Nice. There we go, guys. That's all AI right there. I didn't even press circle. Dale. Otamendi. For birthday Royce. For birthday Royce. Oh my goodness. I found the defender for me. For the rest of FIFA 21. Y ahora se viene. Otavio. Otavio sweating it. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry. We get another assist for Otavio. Thank you so much, Otamendi, putting everybody in his pocket. Team of the season, Sancho. Foot birthday, Chan. Foot birthday, Royce. It doesn't matter. Wow. I did not think I was going to like Otamendi this much. But he's definitely making a case for me to put him in my starting side. I guess it's time to say goodbye to Bidditch. Thank you for coming. So El Capitan Nicolas Otamendi performed excellent on the pitch just like I wanted it him too and honestly he shut down my opponents in the two games that I did play with him two rage quits just tell you how good he is and we even got an assist so he can definitely do some good passing out of your back line the big pros on this car obviously is going to be the 80 pace guys but most importantly the biggest pro in my opinion is that 92 reactions yes the reactions is a key thing in a defender and you saw him guys i didn't even have to press circle he would get in the way of my opponent's shot and that is crucial for a center back the king obviously of doing that is baran and van dyke but otamendi is not far behind guys the aggression the defending everything with this card is fantastic and the only con on this card has to be the 62 dribbling i know dribbling doesn't really matter for a center back but if you're trying to push forward or something or get it out of trouble you might have problems with otamendi from the dribbling aspect but aside from that this is a perfect defender if you don't mind if you know how to defend with 80 pace defenders which is crazy to say because a couple years ago 80 pace defenders were rare and they were expensive but nowadays they're just uh normal normal to be honest it's just normal to have 80 pace 
But if you know how to defend with these type of players, this guy's going to be the Argentinian wall for you guys. Now on to the meta rating. Meta rating on this card is going to be an 8 out of 10. He is very meta, but obviously he does not, he's not as meta as like Tapsoba or etc. And then the final rating will be a 9 out of 10. I really enjoyed Otamendi in my back line. And honestly, he is better than Prime Bidich in my opinion. And I have been using Bidich. He got me Elite 3, like I said, this past weekend. But I think if I can fit Otamendi, Indian, I definitely will gonna am gonna keep this car because it is fantastic. But anyways, I will conclude today's review. Hopefully, it helped you out in deciding whether you want to get this card or not. And you enjoyed this review. Before I let you go, I just want to say thank you so much for your support on Instagram and YouTube lately. Y'all have been killing it with the support, and I love seeing that, guys. Please take a second out of your day, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and expect a Coates review very soon. This is Leo. I bid you goodbye and good night.